Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And this one features Eric. Two one loss team set to lace it up. This ought to be fun. And we're underway on EA Sports. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So the Titans set to go to work for the first time. And they'll be let out by their seventh-year quarterback. And last week's loss came despite a clean game on his end, throwing the ball with two touchdowns and zero interceptions. His job this week is simple. Do it again. Continue to avoid turnovers and hope that what sunk them last week resolves itself this time around. Second and ten. Looking to throw. Curry. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. I think we'll see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space. And they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. On third down. Curry. And oh, that nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. If there's one thing they are lacking in, is confidence. They took a big and maybe unnecessary risk going for that fourth down. He put them on his shoulders, though, and paid off the big-time gamble. The throw over the middle taken in. A big play that time for the Titans. 47 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Here's second and 10. Oh, oh, now, now. Throwing again, Curry. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Only one way to frustrate a quarterback, run those extra defenders on the field, dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Folks, kick is good, and the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. So the Charger offense making its way out, and at the controls is the league's second leading passer a year ago. At 25 years of age, out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. The numbers for him from a week ago. 12 carries, 65 yards. Not a horrendous week last week running the ball, but definitely room for improvement for their numbers. 
No doubt they made some slight adjustments to how they're going to call plays this week in hopes they can kick those numbers up a notch. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Herbert. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Again, Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. That he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. They'll run for it with Eckler. And I don't think he got there. He did not. They stop him a yard shy. He needed two. He only got one. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Every team has plays in their book to try to buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big variable is how does each team deal with the pressure of executing in those situations? In this case, they didn't, and they gave up two points. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. Now they're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them, only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. Now a second and six. Here's Herbert. He'll find Williams on the slant. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Now inside the 25, and he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. Now this offense hoping to avoid the 0-2 start. Now they trail, but they've got a first and 10 here. Herbert operating from the red zone. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Fourth down now as the Titans' defense holds up in coverage. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. 
And this one is right through. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. And they'll accept that penalty. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Eckler now between the tackles. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Austin Eckler, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that'll make this a six-point game. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. And things have changed since the last time they had it. The safety led to the touchdown, so now they find themselves behind as they begin with a first and 10. Off the bootleg, Curry. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Joey Bosa buries him for a loss of 11 from his outside linebacker spot. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Escaping the pressure right. A shot downfield for Burks. And unable to connect, incomplete. Uh, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Two things you can do in that situation. Run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. Flush to his right. He's got a man complete. And he is going to pick up the Titans first down, and he'll have it by plenty as it turns out to be a big gainer there on fourth down. Up the middle they go. It's Curry. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. The Titans had 0-1 on the year following the loss in the opener. And listen, they knew last week they were in for a tough fight on the road. But now here's the home opener and a chance to get things right. And I like the way that you presented that because the bottom line is they didn't come out of that loss discouraged. They just came home and said, hey, if we do what we're supposed to do, protect our home turf, We'll be just fine. The Titans on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and seven. Going knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. On fourth down, Curry. He's going to try and go deep again. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield, right at the 48. The Charger drive about to get going. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> that Woody he would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> the game clock setting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two minute warning. On first and 10, Herbert. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Now a second and 10. 
Back to throw here, Herbert. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. Here's Herbert. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. That's Aziz Al Shair getting through for the sack that time. A fourth down, so the Chargers trot out J.K. Scott. And he punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Out come the Titans now. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. This amount of time, don't be compelled to play it too safe. This is a chance to get points on the board. Press it a little bit. And especially since a touchdown here gets you the lead. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. To throw on second down, Curry eluding the pressure right. Well, they've already allowed three sacks in this first half, now a holding penalty. So I think drastic measures had to be taken, right? The regular way was not working. He was getting hit almost every snap, it felt like. They had to try and keep him upright. Forced out to his left. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Flushed out right. A shot downfield for Burks. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Trailing Burks as the first half is winding down. And the Titans have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead into the locker room. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that will give him the lead here as we get on towards halftime. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Chargers going to take over here one more time before the half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Brought down to the play by Amani Hooker. So a very tight first half. We had to bring... Well, everyone's eager to resume play here in this week two contest, so we push right through halftime and back at it for the start of quarter three. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Chargers going to get the football first here in this second half, and they trail as we get back underway. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. 
Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. Ball start. Offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. He can really smell 800 catches right now because that last one puts him at 799, knocking on the door. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And that's into the hands of Eckler. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. That is caught. He's got room at the 30. Down to the 10. Touchdown, L.A. Josh Palmer, 61 yards. And the Chargers have retaken a third-quarter lead. Herbert and the Chargers stay in put. They'll line up and go for two. They'll look to throw. And that is caught for the two points. So they go with a pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but this down the numbers. There he goes. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Tennessee. Now Fulk for the extra point. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And that is one, no doubt, that may come back to haunt them because the PAT tied it. They didn't need to go for two. I keep searching for an explanation. I know it's quick right here. I think I can search for the next year <laughs> and, and not, not come up one. with anything that absolutely works. Kick the point, man. Kick the point. I don't get it. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them? And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit. There. He's by himself, Keenan Allen. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, Chargers. Keenan Allen, 75 yards. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead is up to eight. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Tennessee offense set to go again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On second down now, it's Curry. Gets past one man, and he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Uh -huh. 
Right back to him on first down. Oh, he bowls over him. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Off play action. Curry going deep for Hopkins. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. The frustration is definitely setting in because they've thrown it to him over and over, unable to come up with a catch thus far. I think he knew he would have his challenges against the secondary. I don't think he saw a goose egg at this point in the game. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. So they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw, escaping the pressure right. Bulldozes past him. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Back to throw. Curry. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Curry. And he'll be out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And that's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Looked that one in and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there, and you want to give him a little extra for the effort, but instead he sets his guys up in excellent shape with a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. So second and goal, and the big man Henry alone in the backfield. They'll give it to him up the middle. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Titans are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. They'll try and throw for it. And he'll get into the end zone, and those two points are going to tie the game. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get it intercepted, it's returned by the defense, that's two points for them. But he identified an open target and put it right on him. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Throws right side, and that's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first down, it's Herbert. Williams brings it in. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. It's another typical season for Williams last year. Big time playmaking and also an injury that kept him off the field for a few games. 
still put up just under 900 yards to lead Los Angeles, and he picks up the first with that catch. Back now in Nashville. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A give, Eckler running to the right. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. On second down, Eckler. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. 76 yards on the ground for Eckler here. That's a first down. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And he's going to go down here a sack. They push him back to the 34. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. On second down, here's Herbert. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first. And it'll bring up third down now. Now it's Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown! Josh Palmer with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Chargers answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out ready to send it away. And more, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And they work this well upfield across the 45. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. The handoff running left, Henry. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an end. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. The Titans on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and nine. Flush to his right. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 39. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Throwing on first down. Curry going deep for Hopkins. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Trying to get a big strike right there and hopefully tie this game up to the late going but the coverage was there, and this winds up incomplete. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. To throw again, Curry. This one downfield to Burks. Touchdown, Titans! Trailing Burks with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. They'll look to throw again. 
And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. Do you have one of those charts that tells you to go for two or go for one? I don't. I know you do. But I don't care what the chart says there. you got to kick it, right? I, I agree totally because somewhere the chart's going to – something's going to pop out of the chart and say, hey, man, just kick the extra point here. You're in good shape. I think they were chasing points there when they didn't need to. Yeah, try to get a little bit greedy, take the lead in the fourth quarter. Now they still trail by one. Possession switching back now to the Chargers. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defense right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe he's by himself, Keenan Allen. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now a give running left is Eckler. It's a solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Once more, here's Eckler. And he will have a charger first down, and that should be the one that gets him to the finish line. It'll go as a gain of nine, and that should write an ending to this one. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. And they'll indeed take a knee. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trained.